Damn it. All of them lost in an instant. Huh? What the? What is that thing? Back into formation. We have to help the fleet and get out ourselves. That's right. Don't give up. Flames behind us, but that is not ground to give up. We, we gotta keep fighting. It's a nice trick with the light here. You know, it's yeah. surprisingly poignant. Yeah, that is a really cool lighting effect. I, yeah. Like, this, this game is quite pretty. Agreed. Uh, Pickle, what, what do you have to say about the graphics? What little you can make out? Nothing about this game is good. <laughs> oh, come on, that's a bit harsh. <laughs> uh, don't worry about Fickle, he hates Japan. I, I thought... Besides, this, this mission looks so impressive that I didn't even notice that bitter one that once again has immediately ordered all the company fighters to get out of formation. <laughs> I love the fact that me playing the game properly is an anomaly. Um... So yeah, this, this mission... It's really simple. Yeah. Just basically, just all your bomb. guys are running away, and you have to defend them as they run away. And as each ship runs away, it will conveniently come under attack, and then you have to go over to it and murder everything in its vicinity. And then it runs away, and then you win. Really? Yeah. The, the only victory here is retreat. Yeah. I, mean, I think there's there's like three. <laughs> Thank you, TCA Captain yeah. A. I think there's like three Aiden capital ships around there somewhere. Yeah, I I do kill a couple caps in this mission. And no, oh, hey! and yep. no, there you can't go. fly up to the Prometheus driver and try and fight it because video games. Yeah, I I'm not gonna show this once this entire Let's Play, so might as well tell the viewer now. Yes, there are boundaries, but they're really far. They're like easily a hundred kil uh, cubic kilometers, so you won't yeah. hit it unless you're trying to hit it. Which is nice. It's, yeah. It's, it's a, like, you know, it's, it's a nice thing. Oh, hold on. Is it? Is it? Is it? Okay. I don't, I don't think it is. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're gonna have some special friends join us for this mission. Gonna have but some, not guest, for another some guest commentators. Uh, well, no, we already have the guest commentators, and he hates everything. Uh, and you, who just hates me. Um, it's true. The hatred will make you stronger, Fadul. I will, I will show you the ways of Let's Play. Okay. Um. Seriously, what is the? Lightning bolt supposed to be? Is that supposed to be the escort? Yeah, the the lightning the lightning bolt is a target of interest, which can be a friendly you have to protect, or it can be a enemy that's slightly more. So important. it's like a sub objective indicator. Sort of, yeah. Yeah, no, it's a, Pandora. It's a you it might want to pay Pandora. attention to this maybe kind of indicator. Yeah. All right. Well, learn something new even after I bleed this game in a playthrough. Uh, yeah, lightning bolt, sub objective. How, how do you not know that? I okay. I'm I'm dumb. Fadul, have we not established I'm dumb? Okay. Yeah, we have um, repeatedly and decisively. Oh, oh, oh! Old buddies of ours, the Hellfires! Oh, hey, it's those guys. They're just, it sounds like they're just trying too hard to sound cool, though, to be honest. They truly are just fucking oh. pathetic. Uh, the Japanese have a term for them, Goldfish Poop Game. Okay. The glorious Nipponese, if you will. I just, I just find it amusing that the leader's name is called Wayne, and they try to, like, pronounce his name with any degree of gravitas, and it completely fails, because his name is Wayne. Yeah, there's a reason why Bruce Wayne calls himself, well, not Bruce Wayne. Yeah, the other thing. And the don't, other get, don't say it's because of secret identities. No, it's not it at all. No, he just secretly has a massive inferiority complex about his name. That's his that's yeah. secret. It motivates well, him, it drives him forward. Well, also the homosexuality. All great heroes have to have impetus. Again, just 
parents dying and, and Wayne just isn't one of those. Homosexuality. He is really, really gay and he doesn't know how to deal with it, so he just beats people up. That is essentially why Batman fights. Don't get cocky. Oh, you learn something new every day. And did you just collide with you, No! You no, did. I don't think you can collide with fighters. I I mean Raymond sure as fuck can, but I can't. Oh. Well then. Uh, yes. we, yes, you we don't are. need our assistance in that matter, Hour. You really don't. Uh. The one downside of the rapier, uh, B4GH, is that it overheats so quickly. It really which, does. It, that is good, because then you can't just fucking spam the homing machine gun laser, but... And why was I aiming at him with Oh, don't worry. Later we'll have plenty of incredibly spammable weapons that never overheat and are amazing. Ah, uh, yes, yes, you were right. And that is it. The Hellfires, no more. No more elite enemy squadron bullshit. We're done with that. We're so, we're so done with that. We are done. So, like... What were they trying to accomplish with uh, the Guilty Roses? Like, what? hey, here's the Night Ravens, but more pink and the chick. Well, I, th I think they, they were they were just a local elite fighter squadron that was hanging around in the Aiden territory. Yeah, and just the, these... and the Hellfires are the ones who are hanging around on the front at Hargandy. That's just that's just how it works. I'd like to pretend that the Hellfires were actually special, like they got nice gargantulas, but otherwise, like, the world's mightiest gargantua may as well be its greatest gnat, you know what I mean? Pretty much. Is any of this making sense to you, Fickle? Uh, I'm just choosing to ignore it. Taking, I'm taking in the scenery. Oh, so now you like the graphics. I never said that. <laughs> you said there was but, nothing good about this game. Uh, I never said I was enjoying taking in the scenery either. <laughs> then why do you enjoy looking at bad graphics? Or graphics because... or graphics that you think that are bad? Because if you like, actually consider this game to be bad graphics, then I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Well, I'm, not, I'm not saying that the graphics themselves are bad. They're just... There's nothing going on for me. It's just not striking a chord, I guess. Okay, here's something everyone should know. I actually met Fickle in an S&M dungeon. He was uh, one of the gimps, and we just, well, we happened to be locked up in a cage together and struck up a conversation. You know, been lifelong friends ever since. Yeah, it's been about 20 years since that day, and, uh... Okay... Uh, I love the fact that I'm equating Prescott High School to a fucking gay dungeon. And I'm not even gonna censor that. Fuck you, Prescott, Arizona. I believe it's pronounced Prescott. SHUT THE FUCK UP! Sounds, sounds like, sounds like you guys had a fun time. I am detecting absolutely no repressed hostility here. Oh, hey, that's where they're all hiding. You're, you're right, you're not sensing repressed hostility. Repressed, it's None of it's going quite... to be repressed. <laughs> oh, Where's it just sleep? straight up hostility. Yeah, no, there's just... Oh my god. If anybody has a spare nuclear warhead, just aim it about 100 miles north of Phoenix, please. Uh, oh, hey, they're, they're doing science battle again. Oh, yeah. Uh, FTL. He says I'm pathetic today after I've just killed two destroyers in a fucking row! Yeah, well, yes, what is it? Like, uh, five minutes ago you were killing two super battleships in a row, so this is a big step down for you. Well, I don't see any super battleships around! Yeah, that's because but clearly they killed them all. Space. That's, that's, that's because, like, Ellen killed them all. No, you shut up! How dare you fucking imply Ellen ever be useful? You're off this Let's Play forever, Fiddle. Aww. Hate you. I'm just kidding, I love you. Yay. You're the best pink bunny I know. I had a happy ending after all. <laughs> uh, with Bitter113, you always get a happy ending. 
By the way, the Vincent is half dead. Uh, I should probably do something about that. One second, let me send a mind message to my past self. Wow, 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 wow. All right, I told him. I'll, I'll see what I do. I think an acceptable solution would be to murder everything in the immediate vicinity. Uh... Well, okay, the thing about me is that I do indiscriminate murder. And things around the Janus is a discrimination. I'm not discriminatory, Fidual. I have to kill everything as I find it. Okay. Okay, also... I don't know if I mentioned this the Let's Play before. Before Farcelli lent me the manual and I read through it, I seriously always thought those shield generators were just like communication antennas. Okay. No bullshit. I, I don't know what to tell you. Are you trying to use special attacks with no shields again? No, I'm failing at using special attacks with no shield. There's a difference. Is there? I, I don't think there is. <laughs> well... Specifically requesting that they not hurt any of their comrades, is that really necessary? I... maybe? I mean, it's quite clear that they have absolutely no communication security in the future, so... It's pretty, pretty safe bet that... Did you just, hey, did you just not notice that your gun was overheating and continue to hold the trigger button down as you flew blindly into the ship? Well, it's whatever. No, I not it, whatever. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what happened. Hey, it's dead. It is dead. Once more, I killed everything in sight, so... All, all hail bitter destroyer of worlds. Okay. How's the Vincent doing? Oh, hey, it's a quarter dead. I mean, three quarters dead. Yes. Maybe it'll make it. Maybe it won't. It is a mystery. What do you think happened to the people living on Argentine? Uh, the vaporization. Uh, if they were lucky, they didn't get hit by the uh, radioactive fallout. Well, actually, would there have been radioactive fallout? Because. Now that I think about it, there yeah. wouldn't have been. Yeah, it was not a spread of it's not a spread of radioactive material, it was just a really big explosion. Well, Which okay, would but shatter the very climate of the planet. Oh, well, there yeah, was, there was yeah, probably uh, chances one are people light. on the other side of the planet would be dead as well. I mean look yeah, at that. Just some tremors it's like a stuff. freaking pimento floating in space. <laughs> also, I imagine there was probably one random passenger shuttle in which one guy happened to be looking out the window and is now going to go on a major vendetta against the Aiden forces on account of how they destroyed his planet and tried to cover it up. Is he a white haired pretty boy? Tell me he's a white haired pretty boy. Tradition demands that he be such. Huzzah! Why is my dumbass aiming at an alone right now? There's like every capital ship. Okay. Great, I'm not as retarded, and nah, it doesn't matter. Mission Ed. <sighs> yeah, actually, I protected the entire Ally fleet. Even the Vincent made it out, so. Well, the Vincent has to make it out. If the Vincent dies, you lose the mission. Fair enough. How did you not know that? Because I'm so pro, I never fail at this mission. I'm, I'm sensing a pattern relating to the to not knowing things and. You. Captain, I think we should get moving too. I agree. Call back the White Griffins. All remaining fleets, evacuate the sector immediately. We're ready to jump at any time. Let's get out of here too then. 